Hey there. Got some nasty weather today. Got some, I think some snow overnight and then rain, so there's just tons of slush. Anyway, I'm uh, enjoying in this uh, Plateau Top Dublin uh, by Moonshine Pipes. It's a second, but uh, he calls these a Rocky Top Dublin. Enjoying some Hearth and Homes Lakeland Brickle Fortissimo. Um, so today I'm going to be uh, doing another video on styles of tobacco and I figured I'd go ahead and hit uh, the other aromatic styles, um, the English style aromatics, or generally called Lakelands. Um, I'm not too experienced with these, but I just wanted to Describe them just a little bit. I'm exploring them more, I think, in my next tobacco order. I'm gonna grab a few more blends. The one I have had <coughs> that I liked was Galwith and Hogarth's Kindle, uh, Kindle Flake, which is very floral. Um, these blends tend to be more like a natural tobacco blend, not usually the real mild Cavendish, but Usually more Virginia, sometimes some dark fried Kentucky Burley. And then they uh, will use toppings, sometimes, you know, vanillas and almond and things like that, but, but also lots of floral essences. And so people say they taste like your grandmother's underwear, or perfume, or soap, or whatever else. People love to, to hate them. But some people actually do just love them. Um, Tonkin bean is another sort of uh, flavor that's pretty widely used. I think that's the main one you're going to get with uh, 1792 flake from Sam Galwith. Um, so that's a, a blend to, to try. I think it's kind of a benchmark tobacco is the 1792 flake. It's really strong, which is something uh, that these aromatics usually are. Um, Another popular one is Innerdale Flake by Galwith and Hogarth. Um, Kindle Flake, Grassmere Flake, Glengarry Flake. Um, a lot of flake tobaccos, a lot of mostly Virginia tobaccos. Sometimes with more Burleys um, with the dark flake scented. Um, Galwith and Hogarth particularly uh, offers a lot of their tobaccos scented and unscented. So, um, so again, it's, it's something that would be really enjoyable as a natural tobacco, but then sometimes has a flavor on there. Um, I think some of them use clove essence, so uh, if you really liked clove cigarettes, um, that might be something to look into. I believe Coniston Cut Plug uses that one. So, um, those are the English style aromatics, mostly made by uh, Sam Galwith or Galwith Hogarth and Company. Um, also, at one point, Russ from Pipes and Cigars did a few blends, one of which I'm smoking today, which are supposed to be his take on that style. And it was called Lakeland Brickle, and then uh, he made a stronger version with a stronger casing, a uh, stronger topping, and also a stronger tobacco underneath called Lakeland Brickle Fortissimo. Um, and that's what uh, I'm smoking today. And it's a pretty good blend. Um, if you're a mild aromatic smoker, it might be a little too strong. Um, if you're super all about only natural tobaccos, you know, you might not like the top note, but it's not really floral. Um, maybe more of spices, maybe some clove or something. Uh, I think it's got some Tonkin in it, um, but it's uh, pretty good stuff. So, something interesting to see if uh, those tickle your fancy. So if you've, you know, never really heard of those, you maybe give them a try.
Cheers.